Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To modify the text in tables, use the buttons in the Alignment button group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools contextual tab in the ribbon to change the alignment of text within selected cells. To do this, select the cells whose text alignment you want to change, and then click the desired Alignment button within the Alignment button group. Note that the buttons available in this group control both the horizontal and vertical alignment of the text within the selected table cells. To change the direction that text flows within selected cells, click the Text Direction button in the Alignment button group to rotate the text by 90 degrees each time you click the button. You can click the Hyphenation button in the Alignment button group to set hyphenation of text within the selected cell or cells. In the Hyphenation dialog box that appears, check the Automatically Hyphenate This Story checkbox and then enter the desired hyphenation zone measurement into the Hyphenation Zone text box. Alternatively, you can also click the Manual button to manually set hyphenation for the selected cell or cells within the table. To change the amount of spacing placed between the edge of the cell and the text within it for selected table cells, select the cells whose spacing you want to alter, and then click the Cell Margins button in the Alignment button group. From the drop-down menu that appears, select the desired cell margin amounts. You can also set stylistic options for selected cells by using the buttons that appear within the Typography button group on the Design tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab. Click the Drop Cap drop-down to select a style of drop cap for the selected cell text. If the text you select is numeric, you can then use the Number Style drop-down to choose a number style. Click the Ligatures drop-down to set a desired ligature style for the text, which can improve readability. For some types of fonts, you can use the Stylistic Sets drop-down to select a set of alternate character shapes for the selected text. If the font that you've selected includes decorative characters, then click the Swash button to enable flourishes in the selected text. For some types of fonts, you can use the Stylistic Alternates drop-down to select a set of different character shapes for the selected text. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.